Today I have a very special guest on the Wednesday checkup. Oh, it's the slobbery bear. Today we're sharing a story all about him. I'm ready. Bear, you ready? He's ready. Beep I want to start off by telling you right away, little bear was diagnosed with Lyme disease. Don't worry, he's fine. The story has a happy ending. I just want to tell you about the process. How did Bear get diagnosed with Lyme disease? What I did to treat it? I enrolled Bear in a training program to get him to be hospital certified as a therapy dog because I think Bear is so doofy and cute. He can bring a lot of happiness and joy to those who are unfortunately spending some significant amount of time in the hospital. When Bear came back from training, he was due for his annual physical exam, some vaccinations. I also needed a refill of his heartworm medication. This is a, a monthly tab that you give to dogs to prevent uh, parasitic heart disease. Before most vets will give the first prescription of heartworm medication, they'll do a rapid test to confirm that the dog actively doesn't have that illness. Because if they do, they need to get treated for it before getting put on a preventive dosage. What I didn't know was that when they did the rapid test, it also included a rapid test for Lyme disease. When the vet tech came back, they tell me that Bear is positive for Lyme disease. Bear is completely asymptomatic. No joint issues, no joint pain, no limping. He's happy-go-lucky, eating well, pooping well, peeing well, everything was great. So it's probably a false positive. But 24 hours later, a new vet calls me and says he is positive for Lyme disease. When I asked some follow-up questions, I wasn't quite happy with the responses I was getting. The vet wasn't certain about what the test was looking for. Was it antigen, viral load, antibodies? He didn't have much experience with Lyme disease. So I said, thank you, uh, I'll make my own decision and I'll follow up with the office. I know when it comes to Lyme disease, in humans, it can be a very controversial topic. I didn't know how controversial it was in animals. Lyme disease is a tick-borne illness that can be largely prevented by having proper tick prevention methods in action. Bear loves to run around in grass. He grew up in upstate New York, which is a haven for ticks. He has very thick, dense brown fur, so it's near impossible to see if he has a tick on him to remove it. In treating Lyme disease in humans, I know the mainstay of treatment is antibiotics. However, I didn't want to subject Bear to antibiotics unnecessarily, so I decided to jump into the research and see what I found when it comes to treating dogs who weren't showing symptoms to see if it's even worthwhile to treat them. And what I found really surprised me. I'm not a vet, I don't pretend to be a vet, I'm not giving you advice on what you should do with your dog, it's simply me describing to you what I found in quality veterinary literature. In 2006, the American College of Veterinary Internal Medicine published a consensus of what doctors, vets specifically, thought about treating dogs with Lyme disease. They did an update to this in 2018, which is great considering Bear was just diagnosed with Lyme disease in 2019. This is what it states verbatim. The topic is still controversial. Four out of six doctors do not routinely recommend treatments for such dogs. The majority of vets on this internal medicine committee recommend against treating dogs with antibiotics that just solely have a positive Lyme disease test, but don't show any other symptoms and their urine studies are normal. The reason why they say that, it promotes overuse of antibiotics. There's no data proving that treatment of healthy dogs is associated with decreased risk of illness, very important. Lyme may not be cleared from all tissues with treatment. Reinfection may commonly occur in dogs in endemic areas. Now this consensus is very important. I was able to make the decision to hold off on treating bear for Lyme disease. However, fast forward a few weeks later, Bear started limping and he started getting arthralgias, which means pain in his joints. So I knew it was time to start treating his Lyme disease because he was starting to get affected by it and showing symptoms. So I went to the vet, picked up the prescription for doxycycline, which is the antibiotic of choice in treating Lyme disease. And it's a very long course. It's actually a 30 day course of antibiotics. Now, when you're giving a dog or even a human such a long course of antibiotics, I think it's wise to get them on a probiotic at the same time so you're not completely destroying the bacteria that's found in our gut or in the animal's gut. And Bear did actually really well with the doxycycline. He didn't have any side effects. I was happy that I was able to get him treatment, but not unnecessary treatment. It's always good to become more informed on the illness that you or your animal is being diagnosed with and then bring that information to the doctor or to another doctor for a second opinion.
It's been two months since we finished antibiotics. Bear's doing great, he's happy. We're back in training mode. He asked if we can open some packages on camera for a mail time segment. Hi, mailman! What do you think, Bear? Should we do it? Should we do mail time? Doesn't this face look like a face that wants to do mail time? Mail time. All right, Bear, so we're gonna open some packages and I promise I'll give you whatever was yours, okay? It's a letter and a little badge, oh, it's a little heart badge. Look at that. Look how cute that, Bear, that's not for you to eat. Thank you so much. Someone from the UK. Bear, this is the one with your name on it. Are you ready? Do, 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 do. Oh, it's a hide the hedgehog game. Bear, catch. All right, go play with your hedgehog, Bear. Thank you for the hedgehog, Bear loves it. I think I can eat it. <gasps> ah! I slice my finger open. We got a doctor. I want you to pause the camera, Dad, please. A few moments later. Look, this is my own therapy dog. It is a connoisseur tea kit. Ooh, some green tea. Matcha. I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that. Hey, Dr. Mike, I'm happy to share a love of tea with you. Hopefully these are new additions to your cupboard. Wow, that's so cool. I'm excited to try these. If you enjoyed this video with Bear on Lyme disease, drop it down below in the comments. But more importantly, if you want a video on Lyme disease for humans, drop that below in the comments because I actually want to do a video on Lyme disease and talk about some of the misinformation that's out there. And if you want to watch a fun and interesting video at the same time, click here. And as always, stay happy and healthy.